Hey, welcome to Strategically Style. My name is Lisa. I'm a woman over 50 and this channel is dedicated to helping you achieve your style goals. And to that end, today I'm going to be sharing with you how you can become that girl. You know that girl, that girl who's so cool and confident and always looks amazing every single time. And now that girl can be you. But before we get into that, I will ask if you enjoy this video at any point, at any time, please click the thumbs up and like the video. Click the subscribe button and join our community, the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is uploaded, typically on Sundays, but you never know. And also comment down below, say hi. So anyway, let's get to the OOTD. And for those of you who are new here this year, 2024, one of the things I am doing is I am being influenced by influencers for my OOTDs for these videos. And this week, our influencer is none other than Audrey from Noble Strength. Audrey is a woman over 50. She don't look it, but she is. Um, she is an artist and an art teacher, and she is also a Christian because the motto of her channel is um, fashion, faith, and art. And if you enjoy fashion, faith, and art, you need to get on over to Audrey's channel. Also, she does a lot of thrift hauls, which is how I initially started watching her. And in general, she's very fabulous. She has an epic bag collection of very um, unique vintage bags. So that is what is going on with Audrey. She wears a lot of black um, with some kind of a bold accent. And then she's also not afraid of color. So the OOTD that is inspiring us today is this look from Miss Audrey. And as you can see, it is a yellow blazer, kind of a little looser oversized, a black t-shirt, some skinny jeans and black boots, and the Staten bag, which is a vintage Louis Vuitton. Let me just put it out there up front. I don't have a bag like that, but we gonna do what we can do. So here is my take and Audrey will appreciate this because it's all entirely thrifted. So I am wearing this yellow wool blazer over this faux turtleneck. Sometimes Audrey likes to bust a move and do a little dance while she's on her video. So I threw in a little step there. My skinny jeans are JCPenney jeans that I got from Goodwill. And that is a thrifted coach bag. The ankle boots are brand new. Well, not brand new, but they I purchased those new from JCPenney. So that is look one. Also, Audrey is wearing these bold, looks like a wooden earring. And so I'm wearing these big brass, hammered brass shields. And that is first take. So next, I happen to have a second blazer though. And this one is more gold. And I switched to a different coach bag. And I'm using the logos on the bag to kind of represent the pattern that is on Audrey's bag. So even though the color is different and whatever, it kind of is what it is. And I think I kind of like that golden blazer a little more than I like the first one. And then for a plot twist here, I've taken a denim dress and layered it over the turtleneck and then I put the golden blazer over that and I belted it and I have on black boots from Amazon, my uh, thrifted black bag and my signature Walmart visor sunnies. Oh, I almost forgot. Okay, so the last one, last one. Um, what if you didn't have a yellow blazer but you had a black blazer and a yellow shirt? So here again, thrifted, thrifted, thrifted. And here I have my statement bag is that black one with the fringe and my boots. I'm wearing um, knee boots and I put them on the outside of the skinny jeans as opposed to the ankle boots and a thrifted belt. And that is this other look. And I don't know if you can tell, but I am wearing a brooch in um, this look. I did not pin this brooch to my leather blazer. I can show you. I have this thing and I can't even get it to part. That's how strong this magnet is. So what you do, it's called magnet pin. And on the back of your brooch, you 
put the pen part through this little hole and then you put that together, put it on one side and then put the opposite magnet underneath your clothes and holds it on. And apparently this magnet is extremely magnetic because the struggle is real getting them separated but that is a really good thing to use to protect your clothing from your brooches as long as you don't have a pacemaker or some other thing in the brooch region. Um, I would recommend MagnaPen and I think I got mine from Amazon but I will link it down below. And that does conclude my Audrey Noble Strength outfit recreations for today. Which one did you like the best? Comment down below. And thank you, Audrey, for being fabulous and inspiring us all. So let's get into that girl. What if there was this powerful tool that could help you zero in on exactly what you want, weed out all the things you don't want, and every day you got dressed, you looked and felt amazing? Well, my friend, that tool exists and it is a mood board. So I'm going to be showing you my process for creating my mood board and get yourself a piece of paper and a pen or a crayon or something and let's get into it. So the first process step in this process is to come up with three words, three adjectives ideally that describe how you aspire to look. And in this case, it can be 100% aspirational because if you're not where you are now, then just really take a minute and get clear on where it is you would like to be fashionably wise. Okay. So my three words are modest, elegant, and distinctive. Now here's the next part of the process. What's your why? Why do you want to be um, why do you want to look modest? Why do you want to look elegant? Why do you want to look distinctive or whatever your words are? If your words are sexy, trendy, um, bold, why? Um, and keep it real because is it that are you using the fashion to try to achieve something else? in your life that has nothing to do with fashion. For example, um, you just need to be seen or you felt unheard for a long time for whatever reason and so now you need to show up in this way or is this simply that you want your fashion to reflect your personality which is sexy, trendy, bold or whatever. So anyway, my words, modest, elegant, distinctive. So I'm going to share with you my words and just talk about a little bit and my why for why let's start with modest why I like to look modest is because I view my body as a sacred space and the things that come to mind when I think sacred space I think my body is a temple which is a reference to a Bible verse from 1st Corinthians chapter 6 I think about honor giving honor to whom honor is due from Romans 13 7 I think about the expression vessels of honor which I just like that and from 2nd Timothy chapter 2 so just really seeing um, my body as uh, this as a temple as a vessel of honor as this sacred space and when I think of that I think about someplace private someplace uh, protected and I think about treasure because what do we do with our treasures? We, um, people will bury them or you put them someplace safe and um, something hidden, something veiled, something mysterious, something valuable, um, something exclusive that everyone does not have access to. And not only in terms of our physical bodies, but in terms of our time, our attention, our talents, that um, they're not for everybody. Maybe they are. In your case but in my case they're not for everyone and so modesty and that's my what that's my why and then just moving on with elegance my why is a kind of piggybacks off of the sacredness from the modesty is treating it with the reverence and the dignity that it's deserves and worthy of 
things. I think about something graceful or being gracious. I think about timeless, enduring, quality. And when I think about quality, it makes me think wisdom because if you're wise, you're going to invest in things that are timeless, enduring, and quality as opposed to things that are temporal and low quality. Um, I think about things that are tailored and customed. And when I think tailored, I think flattering. I also think of elegance as um, being more reserved, sophisticated. That makes me think glamorous. When I think glamour, I think sparkle, pearls, sequins, jewels, which kind of goes back to the idea of treasure that I mentioned when I was talking about modesty. And then that brings me to being distinctive, which also makes me think, um, what's my why? Creative. Um, it's a way to express my, an external way to express my internal creativity. Um, I don't paint or sew or do any of the traditional visual arts. So fashion is my art. So that is what I'm doing. And it's inspired and it's about being custom, which kind of goes back to the tailored aspect of the elegance, um, being expressive and expressive makes me think statement and it's about having a voice. So when I think statement, I think statement pieces, things that are uncommon, rare, original, unique. Um, distinctive is in exquisite jewels, um, something that adds value, adornment, and um, that kind of goes all the way back to the treasure of modesty. So all of my words kind of come full circle and come together to create one picture. So we're gonna do this mood board. And here's the purpose of the mood board. Now I know there's different kind of mood boards and some of them are more collages and people just take all of the things they like and different things. And you can have as many or as few images on your mood board as you want. But the purpose of the mood board is just to create visual reminders to you to help you stay focused and stay on track. This is like a visual compass for fashion so that when you are making fashion decisions, when you look at your mood board, you will look at the different elements and it will say, oh yeah, this, is, this isn't the thing I'm thinking about buying or wearing. This isn't really living up to any of the ideals or the goals that I've established for myself. So I'm going to open up my mood board here just a second so I can talk about what's going on. I'm making mine in Canva and just FYI, I have the paid version of Canva so it does the background remover, but that is not strictly necessary. I just have it because I do YouTube and I need it. Well, I don't need it, but I like to have it sometimes making thumbnails and whatnot. So what I'm doing is first I'm going to find three images, one image for each of my words, and the images won't be close. Just something that represents that word. So for modesty, sacred space, I think a church. So here is an image of St. Patrick's Cathedral. I am not a Catholic. I have visited as a tourist St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York. But anyway, as a church, it is a sacred space. And so that is the image I'm associating with modesty. And then for elegance, I have this um, picture of the Dior Atelier. And these are some workers who are creating a dress for Natalie Portman back, I believe, in 2018 for a red carpet event that she was attending and um, that kind of registers with the tailored, custom, elegant vibe in this image incidentally is from Harper's Bazaar, November 2018. And then for distinctive, I have a picture of the Louvre, the famous museum in Paris. I also have never been there on the list of places to visit. So anyway, those are the images that I have associated with each of my words. So these are going to be my trigger images so that when I see them, they're reminding me instead of using the actual words, I can look at the image and it's there. So next I'm putting some, I put some boxes over the images. 
um, and I changed the transparency so they're more uh, they don't completely obscure the image behind it and then I this again not necessary and then I'm going to put my more clothing type images on top of those so let me show you my finished mood board and let me explain so this first one for modesty this is a picture of me and if you saw my thrift haul from December you might recognize the dress that is my Diane von Furstenberg wrap dress but the wrap the V it's very like a deep it's a deep plunge it's deep Diane it's deep so I have layered a um, thrifted sweater actually underneath it and I'm wearing it with Vince Camuto boots and that is just kind of representative of creating modest taking an outfit and making it modest to fit my standards of modesty and my lifestyle of what I'm doing where I'm going now this bag you might recognize that as an Hermes Birkin bag that is specifically the Togo I do not own it it is photoshopped in there I promise I'll have Birkin like that and I don't know that I aspire to have one particularly at this price point this particular bag retails for about fifteen thousand dollars US and but the reason I have it is because it represents that idea of exclusivity of something rare of something that everyone doesn't have access to some kind of a treasure perhaps and some of these Birkin bags can go upwards of fifty thousand dollars for a purse so you do you with your coins but I like the idea of something exclusive and the whole idea of worthiness and seeing myself as worthy so that is kind of what the bag represents and you notice it kind of sticks out and bridges into the next zone which is my elegance zone and this is just me in a little black dress and it is an older dress I'm wearing it with a vintage gold pen and some black pumps very timeless very classic very breakfast at Tiffany's this would have been in vogue in 1952 and in 2052 it'll probably still be a vibe so that is that and then in the bottom for the creative distinctive zone I have this outfit which I really love it is by a designer called Marnie it is old but I like the skirt it's asymmetrical and the bold buttons and this blouse has lantern sleeves and just everything about it it's just cool and just stands out it's just a little different and it's special um, next to that there is a fashion illustration by an artist named Russen Bart and it is an illustration of a Fendi design and I will put links to Russen of Art if you want to explore more of those illustrations but it just represents this idea of creativity and expressiveness and then the jewelry which is statement type jewelry the cuff is an agate bracelet from I believe the brand is AES it retails for about four hundred and seventy dollars I will say rounding up and I think it's very beautiful and bold and makes a statement and then in the corner that little ring um, I can't remember the name of the brand I will put it on the screen but this particular ring it's almost like a snow globe because there's some kind of liquid in there but instead of like that fake snow it's filled with jewels and so every time you move your hand the jewels just kind of glide through the liquid and this particular ring retails for approximately forty seven hundred dollars and yes I know what you're thinking there is a coordinating bracelet necklace and earrings so you can just shake it up and watch the jewels do their little dance so this is my mood board again your mood board could be more or less um, and I'm planning to do a separate mood board for hair makeup nails and something else but for now this is kind of the vibe I'm vibing 
Other things you might want to include are things that represent colors that you want to be mindful to incorporate in your wardrobe this year or just any other little thing. So anyway, what am I going to do with this? So I might make this the screensaver on my phone, but I have it here on my phone and I am going to refer to it every single time before I put together an outfit using the clothes I already own and certainly before I get out in these streets and buy anything else and bring it into this house. So anything I buy, I want to align it with the mood board and make sure that it fits those goals so that I can be that girl as opposed to being somebody who has very nice clothes but is not showing up as her true authentic self because she's lost touch with her priorities. So I'm also going to probably print this out and have it hanging up in here somewhere where I hear where I keep my clothes and that is what I am doing. I'm going to tap into the power of clarity for planning my outfits. So here is an example of one of the outfits that aligns with my mood board that I put together and I will probably wear it later this week. So here is my um, blue asymmetrical skirt and I am wearing it with this ivory turtleneck I got from Macy's. I have this Evan Pacone thrifted blazer and those leopard print boots and I have these earrings which is um, I got from eBay and an old vintage brooch the same one that I'm wearing in my elegance picture for my mood board so one thing I will say with this is it is clearly modest um, you ain't see getting nothing but maybe some hands and a little face but it is cold here in the great state of Ohio as a matter of fact it's 13 degrees today as I'm sitting here talking to you so my bag you've seen it before it's my little Adisi this is the Farah with the little kind of origami shape to it which I like which is a little distinctive and a little something and also I think the most distinctive aspect of this outfit is the boots but even the skirt which is a wrap skirt it is modest though because it is sewn shut so it does not even have the capacity to unwrap at some inopportune time but also the hem it's a little asymmetric and incidentally this is kind of a fast fashion dupe of the Marnie skirt I at the time when I purchased it I just saw it on the site and thought oh that's just such a cute unique skirt and I didn't even realize that it was kind of trying to dupe the morning thing there so shame on you fast fashion is I might just switch out the boots and put on my ivory boots and even though they're just plain off-white boots they kind of to me they're kind of bold and they kind of stand out they do make a statement they're my statement sunnies and this bag that I am holding there is a leopard print bag that I got from Amazon it is just a little bag with um, a black leather tassel on it and everything else is essentially the same outfit which is I've lost the blazer and I put a sweater I draped it around my neck and kept the boots and I've added this kind of bronzy metallic bag which just gives it a little bit of a twist on the look so that is one variation of a that girl outfit that hits all of the marks for me of being modest, elegant, distinctive, aka it honors my sacredness, my dignity, and my creativity, and that is the look. So anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed this video, and um, I hope that you got some good inspiration for starting your own mood board and being that girl and thank you so much for watching and until we meet again i hope your day is blessed and stylish